everybody. This video is specifically for one fella. So, whoop. come out here. There's the front side. COD paperwork. The back. The other side. The bottom. And the top. It is got one crinkle right here, but I don't know if that was in the box before you sent it, bud, or not. So there it is. We shall open it up and see what we find. So you would ask me to do a specific way. So this is my receipts. So. Total value for, so they charged me $2.59 GST, a brokerage fee, which means UPS themselves, of $29.25, and brokerage GST of $1.46, total value of contents, $51.74, Total COD is $33.30. So technically, the government charged me $2.59 to have this stuff come across the border. The rest of it was fees from the brokerage firm, which I don't know if it was UPS or a third party. So you have to take that into account next time you send a parcel because 29 25 30 25 30 65 yeah, weird what the charges were and what I, I had to pay don't even add up like makes no sense so anyway i will uh take a picture and send you the uh COD forms, get rid of that, here is your shipping label, and yes, on my eBay, once a product is sold, and I am working on things, it says, there's a blue tab, and it doesn't say print shipping label, it says purchase shipping label. So I don't even bother because I want to keep my expenses down to a minimum. So I'm going to open this from the top. Chuck's had a, a specific kind of idea on how to open this so that it comes out nice. So we shall see what happens. It appears to be double taped, like they opened it up to see. Okay. So far, it appears that maybe one box, so he wanted me to remove the packaging. Ooh, nice. Where'd you find that? That's like car car uh, um, that they used to keep noise down. And then he wanted me to tip it on its side and slowly. So first box coming out is damaged. It is damaged here. All crunched along the bottom, crunched on this corner and this corner. So the outside box on the top damaged. Second box damaged, been squished and crunched on the bottom, both sides. 
top, just a hair of creasing there and there. So it appears that it got dropped. I'm guessing box number three crunched on the bottom, squished all the way across. Good on this side, almost. Creasing there, 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 and there. So not mint. Fourth box is creased along the bottom, all across here. So obviously the box was dropped. Creased on all four corners, just like the rest. These ones aren't as bad but as the first one, but this box, this corner squished right here, creased here, and you can see that it was also set, parcels were set on top of it because that's why the top squished, causing creases on the four corners all four sides so so far not a single mint box again corner all four sides creased so all we can do is literally start at minimum I don't think we'll break even on this, buddy. Creased. One, two, three, four. They're all identical, Chuck. Now let's see if the outside one is just as bad. Yep. This one is not, oh yeah. Oh yeah, completely crushed on the corners. Right here, entire thing is mangled. And uh, mangled here and uh, creased all the way down this side. This box is completely hooped. So this box and this box are pretty well unsellable. Nobody would buy boxes in that kind of condition. These ones we might get away with because I mean, it is what it is. We tried. Guess maybe it should have been in a bigger box and completely covered in uh, popcorn top and bottom to try and take some of that force. But it was obviously stacked and uh, our parcel was not on the top of the stack. So We would say not near mint average, I think is as best as we could say that they are. Average condition. So all I can say is that uh, they are imported from the US. Um, thank you PS for the uh, care and handling. I don't know if you wanna contact them and if it's even possible. But uh, shipping them as we did, I don't think is uh, what you would call a success. So um, we'll see where we go from there. Because I'm sure yours are in much better shape when you got them. But again, if they're not available, at least people might be willing to get them at cost. So I took pictures of the boxes at the post office on Tuesday. They're on my phone. So now I can measure these boxes, see what works. And um, yeah, it'll look like we succeeded in making tons of money. But let's see what happens. I said all I can do is list them is that they're fair, fair condition, too in poor and we can try and sell the poor condition ones so that at least somebody has them. 
five bucks a box or something. I don't know. We'll discuss it later, Chuck. But uh, that's this video. Uh, until later. That's the way she goes. So, yeah, my hair fell off. Later.